When I was 12 years old, I got hit by a car. It took me a long time to remember what happened, or how it happened. Truth be told, I only know what happened because of the witnesses. The day was... My friend and I were biking to the corner store about three blocks away from my house to get some snacks. He was biking about 50 feet ahead of me, and that's all I remember. remember. Being that he was ahead of me, he went through the intersection before me, and with no problem. That wasn't that the case for me. For me. From, what From what I've, I've been, been told, told, and now somewhat remember, remember. I slowed down as I got to the intersection, and looked in all four directions, and then proceeded to cross the street. Cross the street. He did not see the stop sign. He ran right through the intersection and hit me with his car. He was going about 40 kilometers an hour when he hit me. Luckily when I was hit, I was standing on my bike and not sitting, because if I was sitting, I would have been run over by his still moving car. Instead, I was thrown on top of his car and then off to the side. He didn't even know that he hit me, he just kept going. One of the few things that I do remember was the voice of a man yelling, He's getting away. Now this is in downtown Toronto, so there's always lots of people and lots of cars. One of the many people that saw what happened was an older lady and her husband. She said, and I quote, I thought I was going to see a dead body lying on the road. She jumped out of her car, ran up to me, and obviously found out that I wasn't dead. Just really disoriented and didn't really realize what had just happened to me. I actually tried to get back on my bike and ride away. That wasn't going to happen because the bike was destroyed. It had no back tire. The lady then proceeded to sit me down and ask me some questions like, Do you know who you are? How old are you? Stuff like that. By this point, I was coming to and was able to answer her questions without a problem. She then called 911 and asked me for my mom's phone number. I started to give it to her when I then realized I should probably give her my dad's number because he's going to freak out less about the situation. So I stopped her and told her my dad's number. My dad answered the phone, and all I really remember her saying was, Before I tell you what happened, I'm with your son, and he's okay. I really don't remember much more about that conversation. All I knew at that point was my dad was on his way. While I was waiting for my dad, the ambulance came. By this time, I felt totally fine, aside from some pretty nasty cuts on my knees, elbows, and on my right hip from where the car had actually hit me. While I was waiting in the back of the ambulance, of course, naturally, that's when my dad got there. And of course, he brought my mom. She jumped out of the car and started running to the ambulance to make sure that I was okay. She was obviously just really concerned for me. After all this happened, the man who hit me did apologize, but I found out later on that he lost his driver's license and that he was about 88 years old. I'm very grateful for the people that were there to help me that day. As time went on and as time continues to go on, more memories from this day come back to me. Maybe one day I can remember it all. 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 Maybe one day I can remember it all.